Uh, then in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can uh, commit the changes that you do uh, in your IntelliJ project uh, to the Git. So right now, I'm going to make uh, change this file. So I'm going to remove this comment and save this file. And to view the uh, changes, what you can do is you can click on version control and then click on local changes. After that, you can see what file has changed and view the difference. You can right click and then click on show difference. So as you can see, it shows the difference between the uh, commit that is uh, the latest commit. Uh, this is the latest f commit file, committed file, and this is the local file in working directory. So it shows the difference, and then what you can do is you can commit that particular file by pressing this uh, shortcut key, Control K. This window dialog comes. But before that, let me uh, change another file say test ng tests here i'm gonna add one comment and then uh, save this file as well so to view the difference as you can see this uh, local changes it's showing that two ch files have changed and now i'm gonna commit that using control key uh, shortcut key this will appear this window appears here it shows like uh, which files have changed so as you can see it is showing that two files have changed and it also shows the names of the files and you want to do the differences you can click on details and then it shows you the what has changed so this is my version and this is the version in the commit uh, la last commit so you can choose like uh, if you don't want to uh, commit all the files at a time what you can do is you can uncheck the file that you do not want to commit so you can check if you want to check only this file you can do that and you can also put the commit uh, message over here for example in firefox test what it changes we remove the commit so you can do the commit message like that and then you can click on commit button or you can also commit and push at a time but right now I'm gonna just make one comment and you can uncheck these checkboxes because this will uh, take more time to perform core analysis and uh, also to check to the list so uh, uncheck these checkboxes and then uh, click on commit so the it will uh, show these messages and it is also showing like uh, I excluded some files from the active change list when committing because there were two files that were changed earlier but I committed just one file so that's why this message is coming that is a partial commit of the active change list and you can hide this message next time and you can click on no because I do not want to uh, create another change list so that's how uh, you can commit the files in uh, Intel J git and uh, to view the commit um, you can uh, click on this log tab and then it will show like uh, where your branches are so origin master is over here then master branch is over here and uh, b1 branch uh, right now i'm on that branch and b1 is over here so that's how you can uh, commit the uh, uh, files in intel and view the log uh, commit log as well if you like this video hit like button